Hey everyone, Tech here. Welcome to Tech's Tavern and a new episode of Tavern Talk. And joining me for this particular first episode, and we'll kind of explain some of what's going on here in a minute, but I have Nitrox here as well as Prizren, so they're going to both be sitting in on this particular discussion. So if both of you will say hey to make sure everything's working. How's it going? How you doing? <laughs> All right. You can tell they're really excited <laughs> about this particular... <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to promise each of them a case of beer to even do it. But this particular uh, series is something that um, we wanted to try out, and it's going to be probably a once-a-month type deal, where we just kind of discuss uh, certain topics relating to uh, the game types that we play, in particular, you know, strategy games, RPG games, primarily PC stuff, is co of course. You're not going to hear us talking about Nintendo games or anything. But <laughs> this is going to be the first episode. And in this particular episode, we wanted to talk about something that actually... Nitrox and I in particular have had a lot of discussions on lately is this new deal of the digital distribution services um, having exclusives and in that we're talking about your services like your Steam, uh, Origin by EA, GameStop Now uh, which was previously Stardock, you got Gamersgate, Dashura, GOG.com and the list goes on and on and a trend that started to happen and it kind of started to the best of my knowledge well I guess you could say Steam started it which is Valve with some of their titles um, but it really started kicking into gear when EA decided to do Origin and they actually started pulling their games off of other digital distribution services and making them Origin only as well as many of their newer games now, if not all of them, I, I don't know if it's all of them, but uh, making a lot of those Origin only. So we kind of wanted to discuss a little bit about that because it's kind of for gamers like us, especially Nitrox, I mean, you and I, I know in particular, play a ton of stuff off of like Steam, for instance. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't get it personally. Like, it almost seems like Steam and Origin are like different consoles you know what I mean like the whole Xbox and PS3 thing <laughs> yeah it, it almost seems like it's turned into something like that well and that's kind of one of those things where you know you can say that one of the greatest strengths I mean there's other things but one of the greatest strengths of PC compared to consoles is you don't necessarily have to worry about all these exclusive you know PS4 exclusive Xbox exclusive you know if it's a PC game it's a PC game and, you know, now with, right. with, with these digital distribution services doing these exclusives, it's like, well, you know, how many damn digital distribution programs do I got to have on my computer if I want to play certain games? It's like, oh, well, if I want to play this one game, you know, I got to go install Origin. Or if I want to play this one game, I have to go install UbiPlay or some, which that's a bad example because... The Ubi stuff is ridiculous, but that's another discussion. But <laughs> the funny thing, the, the funny thing about Origin it was, um, I was kind of forced into it, right? Because I went and bought Mass Effect Three from a store, you know, the disc version. I uh, brought it home, put it in my computer, and bam! It's like you have to sign up for Origin, you have to do this, you have to do that, and it was almost like, why did I go buy the game? What? <laughs> What the heck was the point in that? Uh, yeah. Well, that... I mean, Priz, didn't that even happen to you one time? I remember some particular game that you bought. I remember you told me where you went and bought it, got a CD, and you brought it home, put the CD in, and all that did was install a launcher, and you had to download the game. But... Yes, I want to say it was um, uh, Left for Dead back when it first came out. Right, so Steam kind of did the same thing. Yeah. They didn't actually yeah. put the game on a disc. They just... <laughs> They sold you nah. a, a they sold you a hundred meg launcher on a CD, <laughs> and then you had to go yep. download it. But yeah, the, I mean that's you know that's kind of weird shenanigans to use one of my favorite terms. But I mean it, it's kind of just it's starting to kind of get bad, and you know, and I know I'll, I'll try to hold back my Electronic Arts EA hate because I'm. As some people know, maybe not all my subscribers know, but I, I definitely have beefs with EA, and it goes way back. Um, in particular, it goes back to just in the early 2000s, their knack for putting games out, supporting them for a month, and then dropping them. 
and they did that a lot. To Are you a talking lot. about online? Just to a lot of games, yeah. Online support? The online support and just general support for a lot of games. And, I mean, I know EA's gotten a little better about some of that, but, I mean, it's still, they, they were so terrible about it for a while. And just, like, the, the first example, and I know Priz probably knows the game I'm going to mention, one of the first examples, because my uncle and me, he, he's talked about it a lot, was a game called Motor City Online. And I know a lot of people may hear me say that game and say, oh, geez, that game sucked. Well, it was actually kind of cool. Um, but the problem was was that EA didn't do any marketing Explain for it. Explain this game. I've never heard of it. Well, it, Motor City Online was kind of a, a... It was a MMO to a certain degree where you would buy old classic muscle cars and you would race them and you could race online against people. You could upgrade your cars, change out engine parts, customize them, paint them, do all kinds of things and race and have... You know, compete in different race that contests. Awesome. Yeah, it was a, it was a neat game. It was definitely a neat game. And what happened was kind e of a Gran Turismo type of game. Eh, that might be stretching it a bit, but yeah, similar to that. And but what happened was was EA did like almost no marketing for the game. They didn't try to push it at all. And the game was out for I don't even know if it made it for a year. And then they just unceremoniously dropped it and dumped it. And they didn't really support it or anything. And, you know, back in those days, EA did that to a lot of games. So that's, not to get on a tangent, That was that's kind of my beef I've had with EA over the years. And then, you know, they kind of came along a couple years ago with this Origin thing. And it's like, just when I had started to kind of forget EA's past transgressions against me, they go and start pulling games off of Steam. And it's like, Really? I mean, you guys are going to sit here and pull games off of Steam so that we have to go download Origin in order to play your games. And, I mean, this brings up a, a bit of an issue here that me and you were talking about, Nitrox, is it puts us in a, in a tricky situation of, for instance, when a new game's coming out, like, say, SimCity, the new SimCity game. I know, like, I know you want to play St SimCity. Tech. I know you want to play that, because <laughs> that game is going to be awesome, and I'm going to actually bite the bullet and buy it on, on Origin myself, but still, I don't see why this game shouldn't be available on Steam as well, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't make, doesn't make much sense, like you were saying before with the, you know, they're just all PC games. Right. And before anybody says anything in the comments below of saying, well, you know, you, it's over, I saw it's over on the GameStop now. Well, as we've oh, seen, right. yeah, as we've seen, as Nitrox has already seen, is that if you go over and buy it on GameStop now, what happens is they give you a key to go activate over on the Origin service. So <laughs> it's kind of the same thing as that also, old if you CD. Go, if you, if you want to go buy it from the store like, uh, like Best Buy or even GameStop, all it does is the same thing as Mass Effect 3. You just put it in and then you've gonna, you got that game on your Origin account. And if you don't have Origin installed, it's, it's going to install Origin. Yeah. So, not not to be biased here, but who the heck uses Origin? I mean, <laughs> besides for that. Well, I mean, I have used it, and I, in, in particular, I think when I used it, I think with Priz, I think I used it for like two games. I think because I think we needed it for. I want to say I bought the. Um, Star Wars The Old Republic through it, so I had to have an Origin account to buy it right. through there. Mm, Battlefield 3? And I think one of the Battlefield games we played a while back. And so I think I got, on my Origin account, there was like, two, I had like two or three games, and, um, and I'm, you know, I'm, we don't want to pick on Origin too much, because, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people who love Origin. Well, but, I, I think mean, what I was trying to say there is, is, um, like I've used Steam pretty much all the time. It's like I, it's like where I hang out basically, you know. Right. I just don't see the same thing happening with Origin. Right. And uh, Steam Steam was almost like a gaming community basically. It's like a it's a very thorough gaming community. And I I think that's how a lot of people feel because Steam was kind of the first digital distribution one to really hit big. I mean, they were the first ones to really nail it. And so a lot of people now are vested in it, so to speak. I mean, there's people who, you know, like myself, I mean, I have 200-something, I have like 250 games on Steam. And, you know, I don't want to go install these other programs or even use these other programs if I don't have to. I mean, if, if I can get it on Steam, I'd rather just keep all my games together, let Steam update all my games, and just do it all in one place. 
Now, that said, and I kind of wanted to bring this up just for comparison, is to say which services we use, which ones we have used. I mean, currently, and, and I'm fine with this, currently I use Steam, obviously. Um, I also use GameStop Now, which used to be the Stardock one. And that's mainly because back when it was Stardock, I used it for a lot of Stardock's games like Galactic Civilization, Sins of a Solar Empire, and, and so on. And so I do have GameStop Now installed, but I don't really use it that often. Um, I mean, I have maybe a dozen games over on it. And then I use GOG.com, but, you know, that's kind of a different deal because it's all web-based and you're, and you're downloading DRM-free games. So I almost don't even consider that No, GOG is amazing, man. Yeah. So, but I don't use Origin. I don't use any of the other ones like the UbiPlay, the Deshura, which that may be web-only as well. Gamersgate, I think that's... I think they have a digital version, but they're also web. Um... But I mainly use Steam and GameStop now, and that's pretty th much the only two yeah. that I use. I mean, what about you guys? Do you use any other ones? Or well, Steam is I the use... only one I use actively. Right. I, I, I yeah, same with me. I, but I sometimes just have to go through. Um, I'll give you an example. I bought a game a while back called Anno Twenty Seventy. Right. And I can't even play the game right now. I can't even play it. I'm, 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 you have to go through Steam. Like, I bought it on Steam. You install it on Steam. Load it up. Then you have to load up freaking Uplay. And no. then it's got this kind of... It's the Ubi. This DRM crap that... Yeah, that's... Where you, where you, where you enter it... <laughs> Don't even get me started. you enter in your CD key there or whatever. And, um, and uh, you can't play the game because you've already used the key, right? And then... If at any point you decide to uninstall the game, you're kind of screwed. Don't even get me started on Ubisoft's nonsense. Because <laughs> the last couple of years, they've done the whole thing of... Well, number one, they do the whole thing with the Uplay crap and all of on their games. Is Even if you're playing single player, even if it's a game that doesn't even have freaking multiplayer, you got to be online. Or you can't play the game. Yep. And if your internet connection drops for a minute, pff, you can't play the game. Kicks you out of the game. It's like the stupidest... But that's a whole nother discussion. I <laughs> don't want to get off on that tangent. I mean, <laughs> this, U U Ubisoft has pissed Does me off. Does it really boot you out of the game? Are you sure about that? On some of their I think on their um, on their Settlers, I, I played Settlers 7, which was primarily, I mean, I know it had multiplayer, but I only played it for single player. Um, I don't remember if it did boot you off or not, but I know one of their games did that because a lot of people got pissed about it. But, I mean, I just hated that you have to be online to even play the game. You know, to start it up or whatever. That's just dumb. I mean, yeah. you paid for the game. Yeah, you should I be able to play it whenever the hell you want. You know, <laughs> it just it doesn't make any sense. But um, that's a whole other discussion right there. Yeah, that's a whole other discussion. <laughs> well, one thing to kind of flip it to the other side here, just to kind of round the discussion out a little bit, is you know we mentioned the Sim City thing being an, an exclusive on Origin, but then just the other day, Bohemia Interactive actually announced, and I read this news. Uh, through um, Rock Paper Shotgun, just to give proper credit, but um, Bohemia Interactive announced that Arma 3 is going to be Steam only. And so some people looked at that as like kind of a weird thing and kind of almost a salvo back towards Origin to a certain degree, but um, <laughs> it, I don't know. It's it, 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 And the thing with it was kind of weird is I actually read Bohemia Interactive kind of their press release on their reasoning why they're being Steam only, and they're saying it's because the game development, um, th they want to be able to get the game out this year in 2013, and they just felt that if they had to sit and monkey around with trying to put it on multiple di digital distribution services, they would it would take longer and just detract from them being able to complete the game faster. That was kind of their excuse to why they're going Steam only. I mean, right. some people aren't buying that because they're saying, well, how come some little small company that, like the guys who made FTL, how come they can put their games on multiple services, but you're saying that Bohemia Interactive can't? <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I, I smell some BS. I, I smell a check from Valve in a back room somewhere. <laughs> I, I don't know. Just out of curiosity, you... Um... FTL, what what uh, services are that on? That's on Steam. That's not on Origin, is it? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's on a lot. And I mean, I know 
origin and uh, just to make sure that people under, know that we understand I this. I check real quick. Yeah, it's on a lot of them, but that uh, I know that just the other day, I think it was, is Ubisoft and EA made a deal where their games are now cross-pollinating between their services. So I, I guess they made some sort of deal where Ubisoft games are appearing on Origin now, but also Electronic Arts games are appearing on Uplay or whatever their stupid service is called. So... <laughs> <laughs> you know what though I love the little rewards that Uplay gives you you know yeah you know you get a little reward for turning on the game and then <laughs> <laughs> and you get a few points and you can get like exclusive content in the game it's kind of cool I like that it gives you kind of uh, achievements that actually translate into tangible um, tangible stuff that you can get from the game Okay, so there's one person on the planet who does like the Uplay service, and his name is Nitrox. <laughs> hey, <I do. laughs> we'll just we'll, we'll go ahead and leave that at that. But um, I mean there Great. there there are some other services. There Appreciate are <laughs> there are some other services out there that I haven't used as much, and I mean I know there are a lot of them. I'm trying to play devil's advocate here, man. Yeah, no, that's. I don't want to. <laughs> No, and, and, and if anybody it takes any offense to us, kind of, where if it seems like we're bagging on Origin and I'm bagging on Uplay, um, you know, please excuse that a little bit. It's just maybe because we've had bad experiences one way or another. And, again, getting back to what you brought up earlier is it, it just I, – I don't know. I mean, I'm, just to get your guys' opinion on this trend – is is I just really don't like this trend of these companies trying to do these exclusives. I mean, and I don't even like, you know, even though I like Steam, I, you know, I don't want Steam to start trying to do that. I mean, I, the Arma 3 thing, I mean, I almost have a beef with that. I mean, it, even though I know it's going to be on Steam and I can get it, you know, it's they should just go ahead and put it on all of them. I mean, I don't, I don't like the deal of having to install f or use seven different services to get the game you want to play. I just, I just don't like it, and it just doesn't make any sense that you got to sit here and and have five different it libraries makes, on different services. It makes sense for that to happen on consoles, but like not like, because Steam and Origin, they're just like distribution platforms, basically. They're not. Yeah, I, I I I don't I don't see the nece I don't see why that's necessary to kind of be like oh we're only gonna have it on Origin that's it. Yeah, I remember I think it was when Half Life Two came out when I bought that and you had to get a Steam account for that game and <laughs> that was one of the only the games on Steam basically at the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh so yeah. It's inter interesting to see how Steam has grown since since uh, you know eight years ago or so. Oh, and and I remember back when that happened, and I was one of the people. I remember back when that happened. A lot of people were bitching about that, to be to put it bluntly. A lot of people were saying, "What? Why do I?" I didn't I, even know what Steam was. Why do I got to install this Steam thing? That's you know what I just yeah. I just want to install a game. <laughs> You know, I bought a game in a box with a CD. I just want to put the game. Why do I got to install this Steam thing? And, you know, and a lot of people got pissed about that back in the day. And then now it's like a whole shitload of people right. can't live without Steam. I mean, um, but that's partially because... Well, Blizzard, Blizzard's doing the same thing with Battle.net. Yeah, that, that's true. I mean, you... you yeah, I think, they, I think they did that first, actually. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Well, the the Battle.net thing is very much. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's the same kind of. I mean, you can't play almost any other games with maybe the exception of WoW, I guess. Any of their other games pretty much put the Battle.net stuff on your computer, and you have to use it. And you know, they've tied their whole account system into where all your games are tied onto the same account and and all that. Um, so. Yeah. Well, Battle.net's Battle.net's different in that it's it's only Blizzard games. That's, That's all it is. It's only Blizzard games. Right. right. They're not sitting there trying to be like Origin. Where or like be like EA because you know Origin no. has non EA games on it and you know and they're trying to get other publishers to put their games on Origin. Origin yeah. is trying to directly compete with Steam, and you know and started not putting their games on Steam as a result. And so that's you know you don't see Blizzard doing that. But then again, you don't see Blizzard games 
pretty much on any other any of these other digital distributions, do you? I mean, you can't get them. No, you don't. You can't get them you anywhere. You can only get them from Battle BattleNet, basically. Right. So, I mean, and I guess that's a question too. Some people will bring up is that is any Valve games are they available anywhere except on Steam? I mean, I don't. I, I don't. Probably not. I mean, I guess I've never really looked into it. Oh, you mean like it. Half Life Two? Can you get Half Life Two over on Origin or Gamers Gate or any place? I don't think so. I think you have to get it on Steam. I don't know. I I but, seem to remember. I seem to remember something to do with Desura, but I'm not I'm not too sure about it. Right. Oh, yeah. I did say Counter Strike. Yeah, Counter Strike might be available on some of the other ones. I I don't know. That's that's a yeah. good, that's a good question. I guess I've never really looked at it from that angle as well. But but that, yeah. th but that's a little bit different because you can't really compare the two because Valve doesn't put out that many games and they're not a big publisher to where they they have a bunch of little small studios that they're publishing games for. So it's kind of a totally different. You know, you got EA who EA is putting out a truckload of games every year and and two thirds of them they're not even making. It's some other small studio that's making it, and EA is just publishing it. And, right. and but then again, I guess, and not to drive the conversation out any longer, how many of those are being exclusive to Origin? Because I mean, some EA games do get over on Steam. It's not it's not like no EA games get on Steam. I mean, there are some on there, and some newer ones that are published by EA do get on there. It's just a lot of EA's big AAA titles they're not putting anywhere except on Origin now, it seems like. So, and SimCity, I guess, is a prime example of that. So... Right. Can you get Dead Space 3 on Steam? No, you can't. No. No. No, you can't. Nope, you could get the first two, I think. And... Yeah. No, they didn't, they didn't put it, they don't, it's Origin exclusive. So, if you want to play it, you yeah, have to Yeah, the go. same thing with Mass Effect. And they did the same thing with Mass Effect, which... Yeah. You know... So that's and and that's where a lot of this has really started. Is people say, you know, someone like me, and I, and I'm a prime example of it. Is you know, I would like to play Mass Effect Three, but I'm not going to get it because it's Origin only. <laughs> so I'm not going to do it. So <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> uh, that sucks. <laughs> so, but anyway, I guess we've beat this horse into full I know, submission. Actually, yeah, we've we've beat this horse into full submission. So we'll go ahead and drop it off here. But anyone. Uh, please feel free if you made it this far in the video. Please feel free to uh, up like the video if you're <laughs> interested in seeing more in this series. Um, leave your comments, questions, opinions, corrections, curse words, whatever down below, and uh, let us know what you think about it. Um, and feel free if you have any suggestions for other topics yeah. of discussion, leave those as well. Um, again, this is probably maybe like a once a month thing we may do, um, and it's going to be again focused on things and games. And, and things that we are doing. So it, it'll be discussions on, you know, sh PC strategy RPGs, you know, types of things or related to computer gaming. Um, but, you know, we're not going to do stuff on consoles or any other, you know, you're not going to hear us talking about, you know, pink shirts go good with yellow shorts or any nonsense like that. It's going to be pretty squarely focused. <laughs> it's going to be pretty squarely focused on the kind of things... No political that debates either. Yeah, no political debates or religious talk or any of that kind of stuff. We're going to stay away from all of that. But um, So anyway, thanks for joining us, and we will see you next time in the tavern.